I actually went through every major at the UW one by one and I stumbled upon HCDE. I'd never heard of it before, but I decided to check it out. When I first found out about HCDE, I found it as kind of this holistic picture of technology and culture and people working together. Doing one small simple thing. You need to say, this is a new product and here is, the, uh, here is the user interaction paradigm. Our program is about user experience design and user-centered design, so they're learning about design and research and engineering in creating applications and systems that will allow humans to interact with technology. So have you thought about the simple gestures? That's why it's human-centered design. I was on a research project where we had to analyze the system processes for maintaining security in the Puget Sound region at the Port of Seattle and Port of Tacoma. You also will have to spend a little time training the user, so don't expect to just hand them cards. In addition to learning how people interacted with each other, we also learned how people use technology to, to manage their, uh, those operations at the, at the port, how they leveraged that technology and where, where their relationships uh, benefited it in the day-to-day -day operations or where they, they hurt and how uh, technology played a role in that. So this sensor is going to be detecting raised obstacles. Our end of the year project was to take all the things we'd learned about how to use an Arduino and make our own project, apply it to something that interested us. And since I'm interested in accessible technologies, I thought, okay, I'll do something that could help a blind user. So if I approach the tree branch like this, the handle has just started vibrating to tell me that there's something in the way. My older brother is actually blind. One of the main things that I see as a problem in the blind community is the cane can detect things on the ground level, but you can't detect objects that are raised off the ground. You can walk into it and that can be really dangerous. I want to become a user experience designer, which is also known as a UX designer. I'm really interested in being able to design things that make people feel good. My largest goal at the moment is to become a game designer and game developer. But using games as a tool for community building and community development. They're interested in solving real world problems that make a difference. Actually changing the world, I think, is a, is a, is a goal for everybody.